We think the sharp negative reaction to the Fed statement, as far as the West is concerned, was definitely overdone. It did coincide with something more worrying and more genuine in China. And there, the, the authorities, relatively new, new regime coming in for their statutory 10-year period, uh, have decided to tighten monetary policy a bit, and they are uh, rather concerned about some of the looseness in some of their fringe financial institutions. And towards the end of June in China, the authorities got a bit menacing towards those institutions, and that caused a bit of a panic. The authorities then backed off a bit, and we do take the view on China that they're going to test those uh, banks and fringe banks, but they won't want to bring them down. We're not expecting a Lehman's type crisis in China. We saw commodity price falls as people responded to the likelihood that China wouldn't grow as quickly as we've been used to. And we've now got waves of civil unrest. And today the news is led by uh, Egyptian troubles. More worrying to investors, I think, uh, are the civil unrests in Turkey and Brazil. Uh, which are reinforcing and deteriorating economic circumstances in those countries. And we always have as a background, and have had for several years, uh, continuing Euroland problems. They're currently apparently under control. Fra Merkel, uh, the nearest we have to a European sovereign or leader, uh, is determined to win her election in style on September the 22nd, and she seems to have uh, organized the messages and the actions to achieve a kind of stability which is very welcome for investors. But it's not all bad news out there. The, the good news includes the fact that inflation is under control in most places, certainly in the advanced world. There is no inflationary threat, threat we think, in the United States of America or in, or in Euroland. The Japanese want to get their inflation up, but it's still only just above zero. Uh, even the UK, which is the most inflation-prone of the advanced countries, I think will have a better run on inflation in this stage of the cycle than we had in the previous two years. And for two reasons. One, because we haven't had a devaluation recently, and we're very sensitive to uh, the value of the currency. And two, uh, because there's still a very big migrant workforce coming in on a very regular basis, uh, the wages are nailed to the floor. There's very little wage growth in the economy, so there isn't the normal transmission mechanism for higher uh, inflation getting into the system. Good news is that the U.S. has raised its growth forecast, and I think credibly so. I think the U.S. has a, has a sustainable recovery uh, based on advantages we'll look at in a minute. After all the bad news in China, and I dare say there will be some more bad news, and we're in, in that phase of the market where the media wish cons to construe everything in a negative way about China. Uh, they have a plan for 7% growth. Um, the bears on China say this is dreadful. They think that's akin to a recession. Uh, I wish our recessions were at 7% growth. It, it would make things an awful lot easier. And it, it doesn't look as if the Chinese authorities want to fall below the 7%-ish target. They're trying to get us down from expectations of 9 to 10 to 7, which seems perfectly reasonable because it is a bigger economy now and people are a bit richer. Uh, the easy money is not over. Nobody seriously believes that official short rates are going to go up in any of the three main centers that we look at. Uh, and most people think that if things started to falter again, uh, there would be additional bond buying and other extreme monetary measures. And above all, I think, you should always look at what the authorities are trying to achieve. Uh, they're not always successful, but it matters very much what their direction of travel is. In, in each of the three main areas for advanced investment, uh, you've got authorities that want growth, whereas in the 07-08 period, the big bear market that they created, all the authorities wanted to control inflation and wanted to teach the banks a lesson. And unfortunately, they decided to teach them a very expensive lesson.